Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. So today I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about having a biopsy. Um, I know that it is probably one of the scariest things. You hear breast and you hear needle. Those two things aren't <laughs> supposed to go together. And it's hard um, because if you don't find a point of reference, that's the only thing that kind of sticks in your mind. So I wanted to kind of talk to you guys and talk you through the process and just give you, like I said, a point of reference. Um, it doesn't mean that everybody's is going to be like mine, but it does mean hopefully that it takes some of the anxiety out, right? So I was told that I had to have a biopsy. I've had actually three. Um, two different sessions, but three different incisions. So the first time that I had one, I, I was scared. I was totally scared. Um, and I found this young lady and if I can find her video, honestly, I, I may or may not be able to, but if I can, I'll definitely link her down, um, below because she was able to give me a little bit of relief like just a tad bit. And she basically said that the anxiety of trying, of thinking about having a biopsy um, was worse than the actual procedure. And it actually turned out to be. Um, so I arrived at the imaging center and oh, <laughs> I knew what was happening, wasn't excited. Um, and I asked the tech, I said, look, the only thing that I'm asking you is to please just cover your tools. I don't want to see them. Um, and she did. She was very nice. She covered the tools. My kids are in the background. Y'all already know the deal. Um, she covered the, the, the tools and, um, of course my breast cancer is on my left side. So I was turned on my right side, um, turning toward her, of course, with my left side up. And then, you know, she did the imaging as far as the ultrasound was concerned so they could pinpoint exactly where they were going to make the entry point. So at that time, I was only doing one biopsy. And, um, you know, we were trying to figure out if it was cancerous. Um, this was done on January the 5th. And so, which is my mommy's heavenly birthday. And um, so... I watched the lady, I calmed myself down and I said, you know, we're just going to get through this. You know, this is max an hour out of your life. So let's just get through it. So, um, the pathologist, excuse me, the radiologist comes in and very nice. Um, all of them were sweet. Um, of course, you sign the paperwork that you're, you know, consenting to have the procedure done. You are, um, what else did we do? She tells you, you know, what some of the complications could be. Um, of course, bruising. Um, um, she wasn't going toward my the path of my... And mine's just hurting a little bit right now, so I'll tell you about that in a minute. So I'm getting ready to put this ice pack on it. Um, but it wasn't, um, what do I want to say? It wasn't, I think she, well, because she wasn't going against the chest wall, I think that it, it just really wasn't, um, like, what do I want to say? That particular complication was not something that was prevalent. She mentioned it because, you know, I guess medically she has to or legally she has to. But, you know, um, like puncturing lungs and all that stuff. She wasn't going in that direction. Okay. So anyway, um, they got the position and then she numbed it with some lanocaine and then I did feel the piercing, but it wasn't, it was less than even, um, 
like if you were getting your, you know, something in your vein or something, um, like they were drawing blood out of your vein. It wasn't actually, it was much less than that. Um, and so she, I don't know. I don't think I even really felt her. Maybe I saw it on the screen of her moving around, maybe uh, moving, but it wasn't hurting. Does that make sense? So it was, it was sort of like you felt the movement, but it wasn't something that was hurting you. Right. So they ended up putting, a, they took four samples. Now, what I can tell you is what can sound scary is them getting the samples out. The only thing that I can associate it with is those old time staplers. Some of you old fogies like me will remember that was sat on your teacher's desk and um, it sat on your teacher's desk and you would have to put your, your paper under there and smack it. And that's what it sounds like. So it sounds much worse than it actually is. Um, but yeah, that's what it sounds like. So you have to hear that like four times because they were taking four different, um, taking four different uh, samples out. So then you turned around and, um, you know, you're bleeding. So they're trying to kind of stop the bleeding or whatever. And it's not like pouring out or anything, you know, it's not, you know, nothing that bad, but they have to put pressure and stuff on it. And so you can't take a shower for a day. And then you have a bottom layer of bandages and a top layer. So I did had it done. And then I guess two days later, I could take the top off bandages. And then like three days later, I could take the three days after that, I could take the bottom. So that was that. So I had an MRI um, because... They did, you know, we did figure out that it was cancer. I found out on January 7th. Um, but after seeing the surgeon, the entry point, uh, excuse me, the, the point that they saw is not normal for where cancer normally begins. Mine was in the lymph nodes and it usually starts in the milk ducts. So we did an MRI to try to figure out where this started from. They didn't think that what they found was the originating place and evidently for whatever reason it wasn't picking up on the mammogram or the ultrasound okay so the mri showed two additional spots um one further up in my lymph nodes like further in my armpit and then the other one my first one was at two o'clock on my breast left breast the other one was at 2 30. So that's why my grade is three because it's flicking, you know, it's, it's, um, it's the cells are turning and growing faster. So we have to, you know, I don't know, we have to just tackle it. Stage two, well, we'll figure out if I, I'm, I was stage two at that point. Um, and continue to pray that, that I am. Um, but because we've got these other two things, I'll have to find out from the, um, from the surgeon when I go back next week. So huh, Monday, this past Monday, um, the 14th, everybody else is getting flowers and candy and dinner. And I am getting my titty with two needles now. <laughs> So I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot, <laughs> cannot. So anyway, we go in, we know there's two different spots that they're going to biopsy. Um, I really didn't have any problem with the breast part of it. Um, the armpit was a little bit more invasive just because it was, you know, further up into the, you know, into the lymph nodes. So I felt that one, um, especially when she was trying to numb it. I felt that one a lot more, but still, I don't think it was any more aggressive than 
getting my, was it uncomfortable? Absolutely. But I don't think it was any more aggressive than them trying to put a needle in my arm to draw blood. Honestly, I don't. Um, I will admit that the one in the lymph node was worse than the one in the breast. I, I just wanted to know how close it was to the nipple. I was scared. <laughs> I was scared to death, but it didn't. They were like, no, you're about 17 centimeters from the breast. So we were good. Um, that one, they had to put a little bit more pressure on it to get it to stop bleeding in the lymph nodes. Um, uh, today's Wednesday, still feeling, you know, a little bit of um, pain. So that's what I was doing. I was putting the, um, <laughs> putting my um, ice pack. One of my coworkers was nice enough. I don't know if you guys can see that. She was sweet enough to give me this ice pack. You can freeze it or you can heat it. And, um, you know, my first thing was is that, oh, okay, I can use this on my head if I get a headache or I can use it um, around my neck if I have some tension. Who knew that I would be able to put this under my armpit <laughs> to be able to take some of the swelling down? So um, it's going to have some bruising. You know, it is what it is. And um, I think that's about it. Still the same thing. She took four samples. Um, I honestly thought I was going to have the results back by today. So I'm, uh, that's a little weird. But I thought I would have had because it was Monday. Um, but it was Monday afternoon. So maybe I'll get them back tomorrow. Um and then I meet with the surgeon next week. But she took four samples. It still sounded like a stapler <laughs> on my teacher's desk back in the day. Um, but I'm not going to say it can't hurt. I just happen to have an excellent team. I had um, Dr. Crawford. Um uh, Linda was the tech um, for the ultrasound, um, Cindy and Tiffany, and they were an awesome dream team. Um, I had everybody the first time except for Cindy, um, but the other three ladies, um, I, I was just like, who's my radiologist? And she said, Dr. Crawford. I was like, okay, because I knew Linda was there, uh, which is the ultrasound tech. And then um, Tiffany was sweet enough. Um, she, you know, helped me with the aftercare and stuff and making sure that I was bandaged up well. So I wanted to give them a shout out because they are completely awesome. And, um, but yeah, guys, don't let the anxiety outweigh of making sure that you're taking care of yourself. Um, it's hard to get through different things if you don't know exactly what you're dealing with. But a little praise report. Um, we had done a separate ultrasound on the 24th of January. And um, yeah, 24th of January. And between the 24th of January and the 14th of February, the chemo had shrank the, the um, two new spots. Um, so I told them, I said, I'm sorry for y'all because I know y'all trying to find them, but I'm just glad that the chemo is working and, and it's shrinking them. So we're moving in the right direction. So you guys continue to pray for me. Um, if you think that this would help somebody that might have to do a biopsy, um, please share it with them. Um, be supportive of your friends and family that may be going through this. It's 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 a lot, you know. It's it's um it's a situation where it's uncharted territory for you. You don't know what's going on and you're just trying to make it through. So just try to encourage them, try to make sure that they stay as positive as they possibly can. 
and you know give them a little hug or something <laughs> so um as usual keep the comments coming keep the prayers coming make sure that you like and share make sure that you hit that notification bell um and um if you have any questions for me that i didn't um address leave them down below and i'll go ahead and answer them for you all right butterflies love you bye